Hi, I'm Uns Svanström, a UX and product designer. Welcome back to my channel. It is time for part two in our full design process series, and let's jump right into ideation. I don't know about you, but sometimes it's really hard to be creative just like that. Go straight to it. Do it. Be creative now. Come up with genius ideas. I'm not going to lie. Ideation, coming up with ideas, can give me a little bit of performance anxiety. And <laughs> to combat that performance anxiety, I try to warm up before it's time to just like start spouting ideas. And step one in my ideation warm up is to take a walk. Yes, without headphones. When you take a walk, make sure to start thinking about the problem you're going to solve before your walk so that you've allowed yourself more time to mull the problem over. Step two to getting my brain warmed up and ready for ideation is to do a warm up like you would do in any type of gym training session. You first get warmed up and then you do the actual workout, the work. Here in front of me, I have prepared a little exercise. It is a version of Crazy Eights where you do sketch for one minute and you do that eight minutes in a row and you have to sketch something new each minute. Instead of a classic Crazy Eights, I am calling this exercise Eight Crazy Celebrity Apps. I've taken a paper, folded it, folded it, folded it, and I now have eight squares. In these eight squares, I have uh, written the name of a celebrity in each. And I am gonna, and I have one minute per celebrity to draw what a parking app would look like for them. Because I still wanna stay a little bit on topic. So I have Santa Claus, RuPaul, Shigeru Miyamoto, uh, who is the creator of Zelda, Lady Gaga, Bugs Bunny, The Beatles, Iris Apfel, and Wonder Woman. I am going to quickly sketch out what a parking app would look like if each of these individuals had made it. So it's one minute per sketch and time starts now. Ooh, that was eight minutes. I now have eight silly apps. Uh, in front of me. I can tell you uh, briefly about my silliness here. So the first one is Santa Claus, and I think he's an Android user. Um, so uh, he would probably just say, hey Google, can I park my sleigh here? And the parking would solve itself. Number two, RuPaul. RuPaul is a drag queen, and I think his app would be uh, very neon colors, and it would be an AR app. Uh, augmented reality, so you just like start it. What looks like a neon light would guide you to where there's parking. And there would be all your favorite drag queens would be also in that augmented reality. There's not enough drag queens in apps. The next one, the creator of Zelda, Shigeru Miyamoto. If the creator of Zelda made a parking app, it would work like this. You would be given a key, and then you had to roam out into the city, and you would have to find that one parking spot where the key fit, and you would unlock it, and you would fit your car in there, and as soon as you're in that spot, you unlock a series of mini games that will take you 20 minutes to be able to pay for your parking. So you will always be 20 minutes to an hour late for every meeting when you use this parking app, but it will be worth it because you will be so amused. If Lady Gaga made a parking app, it would be big and bold and larger than life. The buttons would be so big they couldn't even fit on screen. And it would just be like, park, leave, the look and feel of the app would also completely change between every use because you never know what Lady Gaga is going to look like. The Bugs Bunny parking app is a carrot that uh, uh, gets eaten bit for bit 
and it's like a, a, a timer. It shows you how much parking you have because Bugs Bunny can't read very well, but he do, he do love his carrots. When the carrot runs out, you need to be by your car again. The Beatles parking app. It is a, you are in the yellow submarine and you can see all the cars on the street. You have expanded vision and on the yellow submarine radar, you will be able to see further along on the street where there is an available parking spot. If Iris made a parking app, everything would be round like her glasses. And once you hit a button, a burst of patterns and color would come out from the buttons and just like go towards the edge of the screen and they would be gone and it would be sleek again. The Wonder Woman parking app is the app where you gamification your errands that you're gonna run. So as soon as you've paid, it says, you now have one and a half hour to save the world. And uh, you go. So why are we doing this? Because now I feel like I'm in a better place. I'm in a way better mood. I've gotten a bit of silly out and now it's way easier to first go big and crazy and then pair it back. Now it is time for the next step. I am going to do po ideation on post-its. One idea per post-its. Now why am I using post-its? Because for me, it feels easier when you just have to fill a little piece of paper with an idea instead of a big piece of paper and make a list of ideas. Nothing makes you feel worse than an empty list that you have to start. So by using small pieces of paper and one idea per piece, it just feels better. Also, if you're in a group, then you can put the post-its up and you can cluster them, uh, which is great when you're in a group setting. But when I'm ideating alone, then uh, Post-its are just a, a way to manage anxiety. I'm still going to be using a very short deadline for myself, as many ideas as I can in three minutes. Why am I using a timer and giving myself so short time? Well, because when you only get three minutes and have to do many ideas in that time, then you can't get stuck in the details and you don't have time to be critical of your ideas. So set a timer for yourself and just go. And no criticizing the ideas at this stage. Yes and. This is a great idea and the next one can be even better and the next one and the next one. That is how you get a lot of ideas on the table. Three minutes starts now. Okay, so now I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, notes. Whoa, in three minutes. That's, uh, that's actually more than I expected. Okay, so what, what is, what's on my notes? It's actually really weird to sit here in a room and talk to you who's not here in this room with me uh, about my ideas. Idea work is really fragile and I think it's easy to um, get protective of your ideas. So I think it's always better to share early rather than later. Um, but it's also, uh, you're putting your, your thoughts out there in the world and that's always a fragile process. So when you're when you get the privilege of being in an ideation session with somebody else, be uh, never critique. This is not the time for critiques. Say, ha, huh, interesting. And spin on each other's ideas. Never ever criticize in an ideation session because then you're going to put a lid on other people's creativity. And you don't want to do that. Don't be that person. So what are my ideas? Like, what are my thoughts? So it's high and low right now. Uh, I want to be able to pay with Apple Pay. We should definitely use uh, location to know where I'm parking. Do you want to park here? Yes, yes I do. Something I really want to do, uh, but not every company maybe could get away with this, is to make an integration with Google. When you've done your navigation route, just make a button that says find parking and Google could help guide people to where you're where there's free parking 
I also want to be able to find my car again once I've parked, so show me where my car is parked to remember where it is. Something that would be quite interesting is if each parking spot was marked with a QR code that I scan. Maybe I'd just like open my door and it's like there on the ground. Um, or like on a sign right next to me or something. But it's a QR code and I scan it and one of those app cards or like applets. I can't remember what they're called, but Apple just released them so you don't need a full app. You can just have like a mini app. What if it was just an Apple Watch app? Mm -hmm. And I could just be like boop, 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 boop. Okay, not everyone has Apple Watches, but whatever. I would like it. I would like to have kind of big and bold buttons so there's not a whole lot of like little fiddly stuff because I'm in the car. So I want it to be super duper obvious like what I'm supposed to do. I should be able to figure this out while I'm talking on the phone and uh, I have three screaming kids in the back of my car. That's how easy I want this to be. Okay, those are my first three minutes. I'm gonna go for three minutes more now that I've um, said these out loud. I think that's also good sometimes to actually talk to yourself or yeah. So now I'm gonna go three minutes more. Ah, okay, that's another three minutes. Um, I didn't write as many notes this time, but the notes I wrote are these ones. So imagine I pull into a spot and it's like, yes, there's a, there's a, spot, a parking spot right here. But is this a legal parking spot? Am I allowed to park here at this time of day on this date in the month? Am I too close to the curb, not close enough to the curb? Like what's the rules on that? I can't remember. So I would like a, is this okay parking like legally? Uh, maybe with an ER scanner or like I take a photo of where my car is parked and it can analyze it for me. I would like a, what does this sign mean? Photo translator. When I was out walking earlier, I walked past this sign and like, what does that even mean? Which signs apply to me and which are valid right now? Right, okay. So I had an idea that maybe you could give money back if people check out with the parking app. So it's like, so you uh, paid up front for two hours, but you only needed one and a half and you leave early. Maybe you can get that half an hour back if you check out in the app. And then we'll also have a data point that says that this parking spot is free right now and the app could guide somebody else to go park there. I mean, in a parking garage, we have this data kind of, sort of, but I want to bring that to every parking spot. So in most cases, you need to show, you need to tell the parking app the license plate of your car. And I would like to be able to just like scan the license plate, because I never know my license plate by heart. So just be like, camera out. That's six minutes. That was six minutes of ideation. And why do I want many ideas? Why don't I just design something and see where it goes? Well, according to a study Google did, uh, teams that iterate on five ideas or more were way more innovative in their, in what they made and made better stuff. So by just like, starting to design something, it's easy to get stuck in that one track. So I always make sure to make many separate tracks and try to make them as different as possible going forward. I'm now gonna give myself seven minutes to start sketching out what some of these ideas could mean and mix ideas and match them and just see where, where those seven minutes will take me. So, oh, seven minutes of sketching starts now. It's time. Okay, so remember that the thing about sketching out your ideas, it's the first embryo of a design. So, don't make it pretty. It's just so that future you will understand your initial thoughts and to get something down on paper. So ugly is better than everything at this point. 
This is not a tool to impress other people. This is a tool to help me capture my thoughts and start exploring them. Okay, draw something. It doesn't have to be pretty at all. So here I've just sketched like uh, a person in a car and I can click a button that says find parking and it'll show you different places where there are available where the app thinks there's available spots. Highest likelihood at least. And when you get to a spot where there is a marked parking spot, then you just click the button, park here, and it has the address of that spot saved so that you will be able to find your car again. And for how long do you want to park? Well, there's just like big buttons, like one hour and 10 minutes. And um, it just, really, really simple, no weird inputs. And for me, it's all always way easier to think, how long do I want to stay here for, for how much time, rather than inputting a set time. Like I want to leave at 8 p.m. Unless I know I want to leave at 8 p.m. and then there's a button for that, insert time, insert custom time or something. I like it when apps remember me. If we have a history, I want it to like, yeah, you can assume that I'm driving the same car as last time. Even though I specifically won't be because I always rent my cars. Ooh, maybe it's smart. Maybe it knows if a car is a rental and it won't ask me the next time. That's, I like that. If it does, if I'm not in the same car, I can register another car and that button takes me straight to the camera where I can go out of my car, scan the license plate and um, pay with Apple Pay. And that's how you'd start sketching out your ideas into crude wireframes. Bring an idea from just words into like, what are the steps in this design? So the next step here is to keep sketching and keep drawing. But I think you've gotten the gist of how to do an ideation session for one person in a way that helps bring down uh, performance anxiety and just get the ideas out into the world. I really want to see your ideas and I really believe in your creativity. So until next time when we are looking into concepts. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.